Hello YouTube, Obromblade here, <coughs> and this is Minecraft with Feed the Beast. Welcome back. Um, yeah, the quarry is still up and running. Uh, also, uh, apologies for the last uh, episode or the description, basically. I forgot to mention um, that you start by writing edit startup. That way you make sure that the program is running when um, you start the game but um, it was pointed out to me so I fixed it I, th I think that you know you have to do that if you, if you write some other word or you know create a new program then then you basically have to start it up by yourself manually when you start the game or you want it or when you want the program to run or I don't know if you can actually add any code to the program itself so it will start on startup but edit startup works so that way you don't have to worry about it as you can see the quarry as I said just still going on here go strong job here um, which also means that it's not done yet so I cannot you know complete my little magic hut as you can see, I, I've added some milk here because... Oh, I don't know where it goes. I don't think that one will help though. But milk is good for some stuff. It, it, it would help. Um, use a bucket of milk, it gives you something, something. Currently not doing any research. Um, I was uh, doing a little bit more research. Um, a little bit more. and. I managed to make this one. I haven't made it yet, but I researched it. The pickaxe of the core. Um, I've seen Direwolf 20 use it, and it's very nice. This one is very nice as well, Axe of the Stream, because it means you don't have to chase the wood. You just chop it down at the same place where you're standing, and the wood basically falls to you. Uh, it's it, it cuts the branches that is furthest away from you before it cut the branch that you're actually you know, chopping at. The Sword of Zephyr, uh, also a very nice weapon, still haven't been able to build it because um, I have nowhere to get the, you know, I could raise it up a little bit and then uh, do it later, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Also, I did some more research into the bees. Not too much, I did uh, a few frames uh, because I, I did mention that I would start with uh, beekeeping and such. Um, <coughs> I have not done that. So, what to do today? Well, actually, I have been doing a little bit of other things. Um, one of the things is this device over here, which is my uh, mass fabricator. Uh, it took me a bit to basically get it set up the way I wanted it to. You see it's uh, using bat boxes and they are constantly low on levels uh, because this drains a lot of energy actually which I understand it should do. Uh, I thought my setup was made so that it, it, I would be able to handle it but it can't. So basically what happens is that the this one was being fed scrap on a uh, timer and its progress is using up the scrap roughly around the same uh, at the same speed as it's being fed uh, and then when it's made here this one which I think is on a 90 second timer or maybe 60 second will then feed it through um, the filter I, I put it in the filter that it's only gonna pull one out uh, over to this uh, little chest over here or barrel right um, so if we go down to check on what it looks like from below yeah this is the mess uh, this is a mess really this is the previous setup you know this uh, transposer filter sorry again is pulling out uh, from here all the way um, here we have another filter that it's nuts why is it pulling two okay pull two I guess from this chest and it you can pull from below only 
which means that uh, at the beginning it was trying to get back inside so it didn't get any nice poles at all. Uh, while this one here filters into this one, there is no way to get any more into this. So basically I have to manually transfer it, but it's not that difficult. And it's also set up so it can go straight from here up there. But, nah, no worries. Um, yes, what else? Well, I built a, another small device, which is this brewing stand over here. And I gave it some bottles. Let's see. There. However, I don't really know what to put in here. Uh, I tried with some um, seeds. Ah, it didn't work. Um, so... Yeah, I, th I think, I mean, I understand it's ma uh, used to make potions, so, but still, you know, with potions, potion, um, no effect, uh, you, you're making mundane potion, awkward potion, you see, I, I don't really know how to make all of these, but never mind that, I am working on solar stuff. I can show you. Um, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember my setup. I had, I think it was seven uh, solar panels set up up here on the roof. Oh yeah, here's the line going. I had a bunch of these laying around, so I put them in. Uh, I don't have enough because basically it should be in every third cup of tube, so <coughs> um, there is no loss of power. But all of them are struggling as you can see. So I figure okay they're struggling but I can understand that they don't get enough power because you know the mass fabricator is sucking up a lot of power. This one was almost at six million when I started. Uh -huh. So what I did was uh, just recently actually I just built I had one two three four like that and I built five more. I figured oh, that would be enough. It's not. You see it's still draining so I figure, okay, I'll build five more. Okay, so let's get down here. And so in this episode, uh, it's gonna, we're going to do something that I haven't been doing in a while, and that is build stuff. Oops, right there. So, uh, oh yeah, seven more, actually. I'm going to do seven more solar panels. So let's do the battery. So we need iron furnace. Easy peasy, we take some iron, we have this here, and we, so, let's see, seven of those, yeah, looks good. Next step is this one, it's copper cable, refined iron and redstone, let's see, redstone, copper cable, Fine iron. I need 14 of these. And I didn't have enough cable. <laughs> um, there we go. I'm using up a lot of these at the moment, so I'm very happy I have this um, Uh, ability to make a rubber farm. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Okay, so now that one is done. The generator isn't done yet. The battery, 3 refined iron. So we put the battery, the iron furnace, and 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yay. Um, we have the glass, so we just take the solar panel plan, like this. See, we, ha we don't even need to put stuff in there, that's so awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> and we get the copper, the cable here, ultra low. There we go. Hopefully these seven will help. Um, well, it's night time, so let's sleep sleep on it, and we see what happens tomorrow when the sun gets up. <coughs> um, 
I, I don't want to be running low on energy on my um, machines. I mean, I'm already running low on, low on the magmanions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Start up, start up, start up. There we go. So let's see what the power input is like now. It's still going down and up, but mostly down. So even with this setup, which is a very nice setup, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have actually twenty-one solar panels running. This one still don't get enough juice. So maybe, you know, it's the... I don't know how this one works, but it takes eight of those solar panels to get one of them. And then we take eight medium and an MMV transformer to get that, and then the high voltage. That one would be the best, of course, but it takes a long time to get there. Um, making these aren't that difficult, actually. Uh, I do have all the materials needed. I have a lot of iron, a lot of coal, a lot of glass um, to make the circuits. Yeah, a lot, a lot of copper, a lot of rubber. Um, low voltage, uh, making the LV transformer uh, easy. Just a bit of copper, some copper cable, wood. Yeah, easy enough. This one, a machine block, which is just refined iron and, and some uh double insulated copper ca uh, gold cable and then to make this one uh, and then you know eight of those solar arrays so I said I had 21 here that means I can make two medium right maybe that will give me enough power because I assume that this is a setup that is accurate in, in such a way that it, all of these are actually feeding energy into the device over there, my uh, MFSU. This one, no problem. This one is actually working on uh, providing the energy needed for um, those machines. Um, the problem is, um, as we can see here, no worries. Full power. Oh, this is full again. Wait. Pull that one out, that one, that one, that, that, and that. Just because this sorting system isn't up to snuff. Yep, see? Ding, ding, ding. Ding. I'm glad I hit more redstone, because I was a bit worried, actually. There, there. <coughs> Put that there and there. All right. Polarized gold, yeah. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. My my question is is um, if there we go. Uh, lapis. There we go. In here, got a plant of that. Will basically this one of these equal eight of them? Uh, I guess we can make this setup. So just to be sure that I have enough. Well, I do have enough of that. Um, I might not have enough of this though. There we go. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, still have plenty of that. No worries. Like so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The batteries. We need 10. So we put this. So let's make 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What was next step? It's um, totally forgotten. No, wait. 
three, like so. Fine iron, like so. So I need more of that and refined iron. Oh yeah, that was the thing I was gonna make. But I do have a machine that is quite quick. This little device here. The trick is to put this lever here to trick it to always be on, so it at a hundred percent all the time. That way, when you put stuff in here, it's like vroom, as you can see. If I were to you know put stuff in, so the machine detected that stuff was in here, uh, I will have to wait for it to heat up to hundred percent before it really got into speed. But as you see, you know, as I was explaining it, it managed to refine 64 units of iron for me. Uh, so we need 16 of these. Do we have enough of everything else? Um, I think one, two, three, four. Whoops. Um, now what was it? Fine iron in the center. Now one around there. This four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need more copper cable. So wait. There we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. And we need normal iron to make the iron furnace. And need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, perfect. Here we go, and to turn them into generator, I forgot. Battery, three refined iron, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woohoo! There we go. Now I should have all the pieces to make. I probably need more glass. Oh, that would be enough. Yeah, so... Wait. I forgot. I don't need to do that. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This copper... Mm-hmm. Alright. Dum dum and wood. And we take the right, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. There we go. Put that in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Low voltage solar array. Now my question is. Can I hook this up to my existing power lines? Or will they blow? Or will I blow? So, uh, to avoid any nasty surprises like death, I'll do this. And, here we go. One, one, two, no, it's sort of, no, it doesn't. Okay, here we go. No. Uh, it need another type of cable for this one. I assume that it actually needs... I don't know, actually. I'll leave it there. 
Um, and I figure out, I just make more of those copper cables so that my old setup works. <coughs> Luckily nothing else was destroyed. Uh, let's see, how do I make this cable? Uh, ultra low, was it, right? Just three tin ingots. We have tin in here, yes. Um, maybe I should check up what I need. Maybe the gold cable would work. No oh, wait. There. We need something else at the end. I think a gold cable would work. Should we try it? Two inch gold cable. When that one is what I use between this one, MFE, and uh, oops, this one. And uh, sleep. see how it looks on this side over here. This one is fed with a diamond pipe. Uh, I, I give the gold cable a try. So the gold cable works, but as soon as it's getting in contact with So the oh damn it! I need to make. So basically, it was I need a gold cable all the way around. So how do we make this? Two inch gold cable, right there. Rubber and that one and that one is rubber and gold. Luckily, I've hit gold. Um, well, not hit gold, but I came across gold. Um, Yeah, let's make that. Um, there we go. That was easy peasy. Uh, I was very low on gold, but my quarry managed to hit gold on in the lower levels. Uh, also, uh, one person mentioned that I should put a quarry in the twilight in one of the holes there. So let's see what happens. still need more so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make one more of those uh, things inside let's see what was those things inside solar this one of these LV transformers so um, There, I forgot. Copper, 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 copper. Why well, just make that when I can make? Let's see. two of them. So now I need to break down 16 of them up there. I do have my... Um, I made some electric uh, tools as well. This electric wrench. Uh, I think that one would work. Um, to break down the solar panels. Yep, one let's see two three four five six seven eight All right and then we do it on the other hand other side one two three four 
five, six, seven. Um, I think I need to charge it. Could I just put it in here and charge it? Yeah. There we go. So that battery is for something else, of course. Sixteen. Quickly, quickly. I know I have a Dominion Stone and I'm supposed to be able to do crafting with it when I press the C button, but nothing is happening, even if I put it in my inventory like that. Nothing is happening. So, um, the key bindings are a little bit off on my... wait. I managed to get one generator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, um, I have to go to a, a crafting station all the time. I don't know which key binding it is, because whichever key binding I'm looking at, basically I don't get it to work. Did we affect increased effectivity? The productivity of our solar panels? Or did we just... 8, 8, 9... Uh, it's sort of... I think that one more of those might do the trick. So, well, let's build it. We have a generator. I, I um, My tool did create a generator, so it basically it destroyed one of my um, solar panels. But not much to do about that. So we need batteries. Uh, eight of them, right? Wait. One, two, three. Okay, what happened? Ten. Let's get another set of iron ingots up there. Into this one. There we go. So I'm going to make another of those here. Low voltage solar arrays and hope I can make it so I make a little bit of a more energy than, than my mass fabricator uses because I really don't use all the other machines that much um, I mean I still use them but um, not that often so if I can build up a buffer of energy that would be great three four five six seven eight Okay. Next one was the refined iron. Oh, I had a bunch of refined iron. That one. So we take iron ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I think I could have made do with seven since you need that and that. Well, never mind. No, it wasn't that. It was... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's no point in the night. Um, next one was these here. <laughs> okay. Again, I need more copper wire. Ooh, I'm using up a lot of... I do have here. That should be enough. Um, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. 
15, 16. And we take this. Oh yeah, we need the generators. One, two, three. Need more coal. Didn't I have that somewhere? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope I had. No, I didn't. So, I need to make more of that, no problem, I have my quarries giving me coal over here, which is nice. Very nice indeed. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will probably, you know, move the quarry into the twilight uh, later on, uh, as the next step. I was thinking about doing it, but, um, yeah, I, I wasn't thinking that's clearly about the reasons for doing it. Um, I figure I get the same materials there as I get here, but they mentioned that you, you do get a lot of diamonds and such from there, and and that is just awesome. Um, I was thinking about going there now if I had this um, this pickaxe pickaxe of the core, but since I haven't made it, uh, I can't do that. What's that? There we go. We close that to make sure that no one walks in here while we are busy. Three of them not enough, four. Uh, we need that. So, that's four. That's halfway to one of those items. Did I make this one? Dum 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 copper. No, it wasn't like that, was it? No, it was copper. There, there. Copper and wood. So I need one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I heard a Enderman walking in here. There we go. Well, he didn't walk in, he just ported in. There it is. Oh, you bastard. It's because the ceiling is high up. I did manage to... Ooh, come back here, you little bastard. One more and you're dead. But of course, you're a coward, aren't you? No. Where are you? Illegal sugar muffin. There. Died. Like all other sugar muffins, or muffins. No ender pearl though. That's kind of a shame, isn't it? And yeah, nice. Slowly getting there. Okay, we need those. Boom. Uh, we put them up there. And we needed the wood. To make that one. Put the solar there. No. One. Two, three, four. Excellent. Mm -mm. Let's 
Skeleton, spider, you know. Okay. We have that one. We can hook it up tomorrow. And I think that's a good wrapping up point. I haven't been doing much different. Um, maybe I should try and get that one started as well. Uh, basically, all, all you've done is seen me um, build solar, solar power stuff. And upgrading my solar power stuff. There, come on, give me juice. 628, 627, still dropping. Jasmine need one more. One, two, three, four. So I can make four more. Yes. This is the costly bit. But I am kind of low on energy. I mean, this one is running out, so I need to do something soon. Um, I will fix it. I will build a few more, or at least one more. Also, yeah, what I was thinking about doing this episode, actually, was to automate this farm. Uh, because when it comes to the bees, you need... Um, uh, let's see... Uh, you need... Uh, oil from the seed, seed oil. And so I was thinking of automating this one so I can get enough seed that I don't really have to worry about it. And also, um, as you can see in here, this is my tank room, right? So I figure I build another tank somewhere around here or here. I see that I do have room for it. Uh, where I then process the seeds to uh, seed oils and um, that will then uh, so I can make the frames and all that for the apiaries for uh, the bees and stuff. I do have I can, oh, sorry I'm just running back and forth um, in, in chests that are found in dungeons and such or in spawn zones I have come across some uh, uh, like this steadfast drone, marshy drone, and marshy princess don't go together. Mother's drone doesn't. And oh yeah, I need. I can show you. That was what I can do. I can build a scoop. This item here, I need. It's just some. Um, let's see. We have. We can take the sea on wall. And take that out. This one is needed to get the stuff from beehives. And I don't know if you remember, but I did have a beehive here in this biome. So F3 tells me this is Extreme Hill's Edge. Um, sorry, did a screenshot. Oh, nice. So, yeah, if you cut at it, you know, with your left hand, you get stuff like drones, princess, and I got a honeycomb as well. If I were to just destroy it with another weapon, yeah, I wouldn't get anything from it. I don't think so. The scoop is useful for that. However, I'm not in a position at this time to uh, play with this uh, these items. So, um, what I was, where I was going was um, over here to check on these items here. I do want to automate these a little bit more. Uh, however, um, I don't know if I need that. How the engine's going there? 21. This one is producing very nicely. Yes, and this. Well, let's go like this see how this one is doing. It's not doing anything, so we feed it. Um, I'm not really in a dire need of anything that these items produce. I mean, basically, what this machine does is just produce power so I can run this machine and I can run this place here for the wood only at this point. Uh, as you saw, I did have a lot of uh, rubber so I don't need to um, 
uh, create a rubber farm yet. When it comes to wood, I have like this one, this one, da -da, this one, right? And then I have this one for the birch. So I do have a lot of wood already. Basically those two machines doesn't need to be running all the time. Um, what I am low on is the redstone. Um, I did venture into the twilight to get more of that, not the twilight, the and neat nether to get more of that. There we go. Yeah, I need the silver ore. I need to get this machine sorted eventually as well. But anyway, I, I will create more solar stuff so that um, I can run my uh, mass fabricator along with other stuff without worry of running low on power. Um, this setup here is being run by this here. Um, it's struggling as well, uh, but also it's driving these here. None of them at the moment though, so, well, not these two, but anyway, we'll see what happens next episode. Hopefully the quarry will be done so I can make my plans for this place over here and, and complete the, uh, you know, add the water and the lava up there so I can start doing some research and make the pickaxe and then maybe move the quarry to the twilight. So we see what happens. But for now, I'm Oberon Blade and this is Minecraft. Bye bye.